Hello guys, today I will say the really powerful thing that you may be wasn't aware of. It calls the Levenstein algorithm or also called Levenstein distance. What's Levenstein distance? Informally, the Levenstein distance is the distance between two words and the minimum number of single character edits, insertion, deletions, or substitutions, required to change one word into the other. In dynamic programming, it looks like this. It seems horrible, but they need to judge the book by its cover. I found a problem, such an out of word correction. It fits to use this algorithm. And yeah, we will want to code our own implementation of the Levenstein distance, and we will use a package JS Levenstein library that provided for us. If you want to understand what is Levenstein distance is in more deep concept, you, you can find a great explanation of it in the video in the comment below. And now let's get started. Before I start the code, a simple application. I'll show you the completed app. We will need to type a text and then wait a bit because there are so many words, around a quarter of a million. And just type the text and our program gave us the correct sentence. Congrats, now you can see what we will do and let's go to the code. The first thing we need to do is import JS Levenstein and fast storage packages. The first one is the implementation of JS Levenstein algorithm. And the second one is a package that will sort our arrays of distances and names respectively. And yeah, I know we can use native sort, but it saves faster. I mean, our fast sort package is faster than native sort, I guess. The function suggests iterate our words array and put the object to the distances array that consists of the object, and the object consists of the name and calculate the Levenstein distance for one. And then after calculation, the function returns distances accordingly. The generate of the suggest function just sorts our distances and get in the nearest one by default. In index.js file, we will import packages to get English words and function debounce from Ladash package that helps us to debounce on change event. Simply, we would text area with attached on handler, on change handler, the tet and ref to get value as it will be needed. And after explanation, I think we can test it out application. And yeah, it's working great as must be. And all codes and links you can see in the comment below. And happy new year. Take care of yourself and be the strongest version of yourself in the next year.